Good morning and welcome back to our Portuguese homestead. Uh, the last couple of weeks we prepped the greenhouse and the garden. And before we plant, we want to continue here on our new plots uh, because we are very curious about this water well thing. So we need to clear the extra brush here uh, so that we can actually see it, uh, clean it up a little bit. And then uh, see how deep this is and uh, uh, yeah, we wanted to make sure that nothing fell into it. So that's why we're here together, that I can cut on one end and she can pull everything out so that uh, the minimum uh, amount of debris falls into this water feature. Source. Yeah, so that's the first thing on the list today. Much better. The keeping debris out of this has not not completely not completely worked. No. Okay. We have gotten out some of the muck. I need a longer rake to get the rest out. The first time we tested this water, we thought maybe it was a meter deep. And then we got to a rock. We yeah, something. We hit something. Yeah, but it might have also been a step or something because there's lovely steps here. So let's try again. In the middle, so it's, it's at least a meter already. Oh, this is muck. Yeah. No. Holy shit! That's going down. <laughs> <laughs> this is okay. all goo. 
Yeah, so it needs cleaning. Yes, yeah, so very much. There's decades of fallen kinse. There is air coming up. Methane. Woo. So, I don't, I can't get it any further now, but this is very good. This, this looks like muck still, because I don't hear a sound of, of a stone. No. But I can't get it any further. No, no, but that, that, it might be too condensed down there, because you're already a meter down. So, it's at least... This deep? Two. All right. Probably. Well, that gives me hope. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here I can... No, maybe. Yeah, that's something like a rock. But that could also be from the wall or something. This is rock, yeah. yeah. Good. No, but it goes deeper in places. Yeah. Here it goes deeper again. Very good. So we need a longer stick. Yeah. No, we need to clean it. We need to clean it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Then I think I might st get need to get the digger down here. <laughs> mm, I don't know if we can. <laughs> yeah, so here is how it's going to live. Here for the tea. Zet je voeten maar op waar je. Oké. Okay. Iets wat daarmee te doen is. Ja, ik denk dat dat het is. <laughs> Spikes. Nou, daar moeten we niet ver voor te zoeken. Spikes. Just what we needed. Yes. Long iron rods. All right, while uh, cleaning the land, uh, my eye fell on this corner bit of the land. Um, there's a hose sticking out. And there were some, the boots that I found were here. Um, and this heap of rocks looks to me different than the rest of the whole wall. There's a bit of wall uh, collapsed here, which doesn't look like this. This looks intentional, like it's being stacked, but outside of the wall. I don't know what this might be. I know that there is a history of people hiding things in places here in the, the Castello Branco district. My curiosity leads me to believe that we should uncover what's underneath here, or at least have a little peek inside, if there is an inside here. Um, we did a swap with the metal detector over the rest of the land, but actually my thought was constantly on this um, so let's do that let's see I'll first get rid of some of the brown bush.
it's the next day, bow snapping, so we thought this would be a perfect time to continue digging here because it still feels very strange. It's just a little bit too tidy. We haven't found anything yet except for some random things that we'll show you later. Um, but yeah, we do want to continue and be really, really sure that there's nothing here. <laughs> So yesterday we thought we were about halfway in the middle of this weird looking pile. So we cleared some more brambles and we're just going to continue here. Yeah, just a little yeah, bit more. Until but, the ferns. But, but you can see that the wall continues and this is just set in front of the wall. Yeah, and the wall looks pretty good. Yeah. So that's why we still think it's kind of weird. But maybe they were very tidy. Yeah. And just had extra stones. I don't know. But we're going to continue yeah. looking. But I want a treasure. <laughs> Okay. You want to give up? I, uh, yeah, I have given up. <laughs> Let's uh, try and if we can find it from here, the pipe. Yeah. Okay, now that we've given up, we want to know where the black pipe starts. Um, yeah. We now know who owns this terrace. Yes. And we can go have a look. Um, yeah, you wanted to know as well, so. Yeah. Yeah. We'll tell him. <laughs> Are we stealing your water or not? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the mysterious black pipe that has water running from it. It goes into the wall here. And this is the wall that's the border um, to our neighbor's land, obviously. And then it runs all the way down this small terrace. To here and then there there's impossible for me to film a pretty constant drip from the pipe so we really want to know if we're stealing the neighbor's water or not <laughs> Okay, it's under the ground. So, we'll go around and see if we can find it at the well. This guy got up here, and now he's scared to go down. <laughs> And down. Whoop. We're on the other side of this neighboring terrace. This is where we have a channel. That's the border. You can hear the water running. Well, I think the wall which is, is awesome. The oh, that could be. Mm. Pretty high brambles. Some ferns. And we're thinking maybe they buried it and that it starts at the well. There was definitely water still flowing on that edge there. Oh yeah, wow. And that's well, that's the level of the channel, so I think it might just come in seep in from the wall. So this might be a, a water mine as well. It might be, but it might also just be the channel that's filling this up. 
Um, and that's like where the there's like a, bar a barrage overflow towards that other side. Okay. And then I would expect. bigger it's good okay uh, but I can't see the edge but this whole stone that's here mm -hmm. is like there's all water on it goes back okay yeah. so it's much wider than we thought yeah that's good here's the pipe So we're definitely are part of the overflow <laughs> system here. Cool. But I also expect there to be lots of shite in here. Yeah. We can maybe find a stick to push in. Yeah, it's probably years and years of build up. Yeah. Maar goed, het is. Uh, yeah. We hebben de pijp gevonden. Ja, yeah. that was the goal. That was the goal. Happy to have found the source, the mystery source of the pipe. Well, yeah, we. <laughs> it, it totally became, makes it, sense. It became a mystery once he said that it, there wasn't no pipe here. Yeah. Um, but we found it. Yeah. It a was, little bit underneath. Well, he was looking right. He could have been looking right at it, and I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. It's just your overflow, so don't worry. Yeah. We're not stealing lots of water. Just no, but it's whatever a, the tank can't hold. <laughs> it's a really uh, ingenious design. It was probably the the same family, and they yeah. just yeah. share all the water, which is good. Yeah. We want to test if it if it will fill up again. So we're going yeah, just a, a small test. A small test. So we're going to take out some water and then maybe, well not maybe, then we'll mark it and see if it comes up again. As you can hear, school is out. Martin took out a couple buckets, quite a few buckets this morning. And we uh, made some pictures of easy recognizable markers. And there's definitely more water in it than this morning. So that's a very good, very exciting. And now it's just a question of where is it coming from? Yeah, it could still come from the overflow that is connected uh, via the, the pipe here. Yeah. That it drops down here and comes in there. So let me show you. Oh, yes. I don't know if I can actually see this. Don't fall in. Don't fall in. That rock there was dry, dry yeah. this morning. So it's now underwater again. So it's clearly filled back up. Yeah. And But now the question is, is it this water from the not so mysterious anymore black pipe and is it just seeping through here into there or does it have another source yeah but sorry it's the end of winter it's still quite wet there's water coming out of lots of points in the mountain so this is not a great time to clear it and actually see where the water is coming from and it's also still quite cold 
And it's also still quite cold, so well cleaning is more of an end of summer job yeah. when it's 35 degrees and you want to be somewhere shady and wet. <laughs> so that's the end of summer job. Watch out for that exciting video. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the final part. We want to show you the random things that we found. And again, for all the warriors, this uh, terrace is not accessible for the kids in any way. And we're gonna fence this soon. So don't worry, no one's gonna fall in. Uh, so I was able to borrow a metal detector from a friend of mine and I used it to do a, a quick uh, search of this land to find what else there was that we hadn't found uh, uh, just while streaming. And uh, there were a couple of things. Of course, the, the, the farming implements, uh, an enchada and some sort of uh, pick. A really small pick, but it's a pick nonetheless. Food stuff containers. These are uh, two uh, of the, the uh, tuna. I think it's both tuna. Yeah. Yeah. Tuna in, in vinegar or vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. uh, but they are not that old, so uh, it's at 98 and 96. Um, assume we assume it's a hunter because. Uh, this land hasn't been used for longer. Um, of course, they are all well groomed. It's a Gillette uh, blade, but it's definitely an old one because it only ha it has two blades. Um, old technology. You know? <laughs> um, <clears throat> and a beer bottle, which looks quite old to me, but don't know how old that it really is. And for some reason, uh, Two leftovers from an umbrella. These are two separate umbrellas. They don't belong together. Uh, yeah, it, it, it rains here as well. <laughs> need an umbrella. Uh, some ground pegs, I think, or yeah, there are screws on there. But I don't know what they are used for. Maybe for the javelin trap um, to pin it to the ground. I don't know. Um, yeah, disappointing stuff and, and uh, Puck is uh, standing on an old cork beehive because there are holes in there on sides and well, the, yeah, it's been inhabited by a, a mouse at, at some point. Not the big treasure pirate chests with all Roman coins or whatever. Nothing like that, unfortunately. This one doesn't want to be with me anymore. No. Okay, not the big treasure that we secretly hoped to find up there. I still think it's very weird. Uh, that wall, still bugging me. But uh, the water point is very promising so far. It seems to be filling up by itself, so that's also a treasure. And lots of small interesting things to find. It's always fun to see what the people before us did on this land. Anywho, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next week.